Hi there, welcome to Carol's Kitchen. I've got a little helper today. This is Ruby, who's the daughter of a neighbour. And we're going to cook together. We're going to cook something from a festive flavour cookbook. It's a celebration of Christmas in July and any, any occasion really. It's free this month as a gift we've purchased along with the Oval Thermo server. So the recipe we're going to cook is the $250 cookies. And there's a little bit of a story behind these. Apparently, um, a lady asked for the recipe of a famous department store's cookies that she was really keen on. And she said, how much would it cost to buy the recipe? When they said 250, she thought that was fine and put it, said, okay, put it on my account. And then when she got her statement, it turned out to be $250, not 250. So uh, she just decided that she would share the recipe and Thermomix were one of the lucky recipients of the recipe. It's on cookie do, obviously, so we're going to um, just start cooking. You ready, Ruby? Yeah. All right, you press start cooking. All right, 300 grams of rolled oats. So the scales have come up automatically. I've just taken the lid off, so we'll just tear that. We just want to pop those into the bowl. Take this off. No, just tip it into the hot bowl. That's it. So we're actually making half the recipe. The, the full recipe makes um, 75 cookies. So that's a lot of cookies, even for our family. So we're just going to make half the amount we have next. Insert the measuring cup, we've already done that. So three seconds at speed six. If you just turn that up to speed six. We've got our nicely chopped up rolled oats. Should we have a look, Ruby? That's chopped them up pretty finely, hasn't it? Yeah. And see what it says next. So we've got almonds, roasted almonds, and some roasted pe pecan nuts. So we, they're both in this bowl, so you can just put the whole thing in. seconds at speed five. Right, let's have another look. So that's better, that's more finely chopped, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. See what it says next? I think we might have to put these into a separate bowl. So we've got milk chocolate that's already just been roughly chopped, but we're going to chop it up a bit more. Again, I'm going to do four seconds at speed five. This is going to be noisy too. We want chunks, but we don't want too big chunks. But yeah, that's better, isn't it? We're just going to pop those in with the nuts. So this is going to ask now for brown sugar and white sugar. And we've actually just put them both in together. Okay. So let's just tip that into the bowl. Will you press next for me? So that's the white sugar. And then we're going to mill the sugar. We're going to make it a lot finer. 10 seconds and we're going up to speed nine. So it's it's a fast speed, but it's not as noisy as this one. <laughs> 250 grams of butter, and we're doing half, so just show everybody what we've got in here. Very fine sugar. So it's 125 grams of butter because we're doing half. Just tip it in. We've got the spatula if we need to help it a bit. Butter is sticky. And press next. Oh, she's doing 
So this is some that I made from a while ago, actually in the Thermomix, using fresh vanilla pods. seconds at speed four. So this is just mixing the sugar and the butter and the vanilla essence. and sugar mix and it's a nice sort of golden colour isn't it? It kind of looks like peanut butter. It does, yeah. Smells good too. Smells vanilla-y. Okay, let's see what we have to do next. We're going to add two eggs but we're actually just adding one egg. You want to take that in? Just dip your egg in for the next time. I can't remember if we put the flour in, we do. So again we've combined some ingredients here. We've got the flour and bicarbonate of soda, do you want to press next, see what else? Baking powder and salt. So all of that is in the one bowl. Do you want to just tip that in? I'd actually just like to mix that before we put that in. So let's just give that a few seconds to mix. And we're going to do that. We'll go to home and we can now just dial Let's do five, tap that, and maybe put that up to four. Just, just to make sure that it's nicely mixed. Before we add all these other ingredients. What do you think, Ruby, does that look okay? Yeah. So that's better, I think. Before we put all of this stuff in. Now to get back to the recipe, you just have to press that little bookmark there. And that's going to take us back to where we were before. So we're going to add the oats. Do you want to pop those in? To chop oats. Pop it. Ten seconds at speed six, but this time it's actually going to um, mix on reverse, so it's not going to chop the oats anymore. So just up to six. That's it. The next step is to combine it with all these goodies in the bowl. Let's just have a look. Transfer mixture into the large bowl. Okay, I'm just going to stir these things. And this is where you might need my help because it's actually quite tricky to get something this sticky out of the bowl. So I'm just going to pop this back in. And when you've got sticky stuff around your blades, you can actually help to get it off by putting it into turbo. So we've gone back to the home screen, gonna slide across, get turbo, and if I press that now, you just turn it a little bit, and it's gonna go really fast. <laughs> and onto the side of the bowl. So that makes it a bit easier to get the last bit out. Okay, so I'm going to have to mix this. This is the bit that I found the hardest. It's easy when the Thermomix does the work and it's a bit harder when you have to do it yourself. You can smell the chocolate. Can you? Can you smell it? Yeah. Mm. So what we have to do now, we have to put this into like a log and put it in the fridge so that it can go firm and then we can slice it. I'm just going to tip it out. We'll just tip some of it out. We'll do it in a couple of batches. Shake. 
and pop that into the fridge. And those of my age with a UK background will know the word blue petering it. So this is one that we blue petered, it's one that we prepared earlier. So that is our chilled cookie dough lock. I'm just going to slice that now so that we can pop some cookies in the oven. So you have a little feel at that. It's quite hard, isn't it, now that it's been in the fridge? You can actually put one of these logs into the freezer so that you can have it for some time down the track. Okay. So we want to cut about one centimetre slices. So uh, how many can we fit on there? I think how many were on there for the first time? Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. And the oven's beep, so the oven is at the right temperature. So you've got four in your family. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to make 16 and we've got four each. I don't think my brother will really like it. You don't think so? So three of you, 15 between three is five each. Yeah. You might like it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of chocolate, nuts, oaty goodness in there. Should we pop them in the oven? Yeah. So we're going to give those 10 minutes. And we'll take them out and have a look. Maybe eat one or two. The goodies have just come out of the oven. How do they look? They look good. They look good? Yeah. What we're going to do is just transfer them onto a cooling mat. Smell good too. They spread out a little bit, haven't they? Yeah. And they've been cooking. Okay, so we'll just let those cool down. We've got the taste test now, Ruby. Are you enjoying that? What do you think? They're really good? Mm. Do you think mum and dad will enjoy them too? Yeah. And Toby? That's great. Always good to have happy, happy eaters. So, thanks for watching. I hope Ruby's enjoyed having a little cook with me today. <laughs> and um, we'll see you another time. Festive Flavour Cookbook. Great for celebrations in July.